I just changed the recipe a little bit and it made a big difference. They usually, it calls for just a chopped onion inside. Instead, I sauteed the onion before I put it in the casserole. Made a big difference. Yeah, Gave it more of a good taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you have on top of the crust? With crackers. Really? Hmm, interesting. I would have never guessed that. That's new, isn't it? Wow. That's new. I've made this before. The meatballs? But I think maybe I just use breadcrumbs or matzo meal. My dad always uses mm -hmm. breadcrumbs and uh, cornflakes. Yeah, cornflakes. I've done with cornflakes. Ah, yeah. that's an interesting. The crackers are pretty good, though. Yeah, the crackers are good a whole lot. One of them oh, is very okay. pious, very religious. Mm -hmm. Goes to synagogue every day, davening morning, noon, and night. Completely kosher. I mean, this man is really tough. Mm -hmm. Doesn't fool around with women. Only his wife. You know, a real upstanding man. Then he has a friend, a bum. A womanizer. A deadbeat. Borrows money from people. Doesn't give it back. Doesn't work. I mean, a horrible person. It was both of them to be ripe old age, and they wind up in heaven. This guy goes into heaven, they give him a little dinky apartment up in heaven. <laughs> he sees his friend, the womanizer, in a penthouse with servants, with things, and it's driving him back. Finally, one day, he meets God. I don't understand you. I prayed to you morning, noon, and night for 89 years. And this is how you reward me? He says, how could I, how could I reward a nudge like you? <laughs> That's not the one, no. <laughs> Oh, pretty good. I don't I forget them, Chloe. I tell them and then I forget them. I tell them in front of these white KKK people. <laughs> riveted. Riveted to the stage for an hour. Their head started to explode. <laughs> Just in sheer panic. They were exploding. Yeah. How about the, the, the nigger family? The like nigger family? Oh, yeah. That is funny. And then at the end, he, he divorced his wife because yeah. he called her a nigger lover. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the skit, right? At the end of the skit. Get out of here. At the end of the skit, once he found out, he says, he, since he's moved away from the shack and has moved to unknown parts, he divorced his wife for what reason? Nigger lover. Nigger lover. Now that's but what I don't understand. <laughs> it's a white family with the last name Nigger. Right. right. <laughs> and, he, and, he, and this, this black yeah, comedian, the, what, the, the milk, milk, the milk, 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 he's the milk man. Hey, Mr. Nigger. And he's like, Mr. Benny, Casey Bell is so funny. He's the milk man from the 50s. And he talks like, who's Mr. Benny? Yes, yes, Rochester. He's got the milk man, he goes, Oh, hello, niggas! <laughs> 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 and, and then they pan into another breakfast family. Uh, honey, what? my daughter's going out on her first date this evening with a boy. Who is it? The nigger one. The nigger one. The nigger one. The goes, oh! <laughs> oh, no. He's a damn good nigger. Well, we take some very interesting pictures. I like the way you all of them. There's nothing in the book. I like her arty pictures where she takes like a leaf against the sky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's an awesome picture. Is that? Which one is that? Which one is that? I was like on this swing and as he was up the top. Both in the pictures. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see. No, there's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Oh my God, So what do you have to say for yourself? Everything's going good? Everything's going good? You, so you're driving now? You're driving crazy? Trust me. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, you, you know, you shouldn't be driving things that don't drive. Yeah, I drove yesterday. I drove with Mom. I don't really have any urge to drive, though. Oh, my God. Oh, there's this, um...